This is a technique I use to recurl, reset old leather reed valves. And you can see that the leather valves, after a while, will, will curl up and uh, they need to be recurled. You remove them by prying them off from the back side that's cemented on. You don't pull them up from the free side because that can stretch the leather. So carefully pry them up like that. These are attached with shellac and this is the only cement that I would recommend that you use uh, for one reason that after the shellac is thoroughly dry you can scrape it off and the nap is not damaged you can you can reuse it so first step scrape off the old shellac turn it around and give a, a light scrape to the other side the clean the clean side this is the underside still just to raise the nap so you get a nice flat surface then pick it up and starting from the cemented side curl it up tightly in your fingers like that. So that's curled up tightly. Okay. And then holding the, the shellac side, straighten it out so that it's perfectly straight. Like that. This, and you leave the shellac side just slightly curved like that. Can you see that? Slightly curved. That provides the tension for holding the valve down. Now this shellac that I'm using, you can uh, you can make this yourself just with a get a uh, jar of <clears throat> shellac wood finish or wood sealer and pour a little into a jar and leave it open for a few weeks to to get uh, thick and treacly. This is actually a little bit too thin still so what I do is I'll set it on and then just leave it for a few minutes just to just to thicken up and you can actually you can actually work your way along and do a whole side prepared <coughs> excuse me prepared this way and uh, the shellac is slow enough setting that uh, you can come back and, and put the other ones on. So I'll take a couple of these other ones that I did a couple of minutes ago and set them on. And you just set it on so. Give them a little rub like that. And that's her. Oh, it's nice and flat.